Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve an example related to the resultant tunnel loadings acting on this metal stud punch. This example is being taken from the chapter of strays in the book of mechanics of material by R.C. Hubler and this example number is 15. So let's solve this example. So in this example a metal stud punch is subjected to the force of 120 Newton with the help of hand as you can see in this image and we are being asked to calculate the magnitude of reactive force at the pin A and in the short lake BC. We are also being asked to calculate the resultant and loadings acting on the cross section at point D. So let's solve first for the magnitude of reactive force acting on, at the pin A. So in order to determine that we need to draw the free body diagram. So let's consider this handle. So if you look at the forces that are acting on this handle, one force is with the help of hand which is 120 Newton, other would be the reaction forces acting at pin A and the force along BC member. So at pin A there would be one force acting at any particular direction but we don't know. So therefore we are drawing the components of that reactive force. Let's say this is the vertical component and let's represent that as FA y and this has horizontal component and let's represent that with f a x and there will be one force acting in the direction of p c member and uh, let's say that this is the force and let's represent with f b c so in order to have the reaction forces we need to use the conditions of equilibrium so let's use third condition of equilibrium which is summation of all moments acting at any point equal to zero and let's consider point A so that we can have a minimum number of unknown variables as FAY and FAX will not be creating any movement and let's assume that the clockwise movements are positive. So this 120 Newton force which is acting at this point will be generating clockwise movement and positive 120 multiplied by the moment arm distance. So moment arm distance will be 200 plus 300 means 500 so 500 millimeter if you want to convert into meter then you need to divide it with thousand now we just have the moment created by the force of 120 newton but how about this fpc force so fpc force will be generating anti-clockwise moment so negative how about the momentum so momentum would be this perpendicular distance but we don't know this perpendicular distance so in order to have this perpendicular distance we can use this right angle triangle so if i enlarge this small right angle triangle where this side is required and this side is of 50 millimeter in other words you can say a hypotenuse is 50 mm but we want to have this side and since this angle is 60 so this will be 30 then so using cos theta formula which is cos 30 base upon hypotenuse base is required hypotenuse is 50 so then required side would be equal to 50 multiplied by cos 30 so then the required side is 50 multiply by cos 30 and again if you want to convert this into millimeter to meter then divide it with thousand equal to zero so from here if you do the calculation you will get fbc as 1.39 kN. so we just had fpc for the remaining unknown variables again we have to use the conditions of equilibrium let's use second condition of equilibrium which is summation of all forces acting in y direction equal to zero taking upward forces as positive so in this case FAY will be upward hence positive but FBC will be negative because of downward direction and uh, this 120 Newton force will also be negative because of downward direction but we don't know the exact magnitude of this because this will have the vertical component so vertical component can be calculated so this angle is 30 then this angle will also be 30 so then the vertical component of this will be 120 multiplied by cos 30 since fbc is in kN, newton so this should also be in kN, newton so divide it with thousand so from here we can have f a y and on doing calculations f a y will be 1.489 kN. newton 
We also need to know the horizontal component of the reactive force acting at pin A. For that we have to use the first condition of equilibrium. So let's use first condition of equilibrium which is summation of all forces acting in x direction equal to 0. Taking rightward forces as positive since Fax is taken leftward so that will be negative and the other force which is acting horizontally is the horizontal component of this one 20 newton force and that can be calculated as 120 sine 30 and since it's rightward so it will be positive there is no other force acting in x direction so from here we will have fax as 0 0.06 kN or you can say 60 newton since it was asked to us to calculate the reactive force in the short length BC, we just have calculated that which is 1.39 kN and we are also being asked to calculate the reactive force at the pin A as well. Since we know the horizontal and vertical component of the reactive force acting at the pin, so using the resultant formula which is force acting at A point would be calculated in terms of its components as fax square plus fay square so putting those values 0.06 square plus 1.489 square so on doing calculations fa would be 1.49 kN. so this is the answer for the reactive force acting at uh, pin a and this is the answer for the reactive force acting in the direction of BC member. Now let's move on. So for the determination of resultant unloadings acting on the cross section at point D, we need to consider this part of metal stud punch. So the resultant unloadings acting at point D would be one would be vertical force. Let's represent that with F D Y. Let's say another would be horizontal force acting at this, and let's represent that as f d x and the third would be the moment arm acting at this point and let's represent that as m d so these are the result internal loadings that we have to determine since there is no horizontal force acting in this so f d x will be then equal to zero the vertical force now only one vertical force is acting in the direction of y I have considered these axes as x and this axis as y. So in the direction of x there is no force so fdx is 0. In the direction of y there is only one force which is 120. So using second condition of equilibrium which is summation of all forces acting in y direction equal to 0. If the y is upward let's say that is positive so 120 will be negative because that is downward so then f t y would be equal to 120 newton how about the momentum for momentum we have to use the third condition of equilibrium which is summation of all moments acting at any point equal to zero and taking clockwise moments as positive and let's take that point as d point so at D point, there is one moment which I have considered as a negative. So negative MD and 120 Newton force will be generating clockwise moment, hence positive 120 multiplied by 30 mm equal to 0. Then from here we will have MD as 36 Newton meter. So we just have the resultant unloadings acting at point D. So now we have calculated all the required parameters that are being asked in this example. So this is all from this video where we have learned about the calculation of a reactive force acting at a pin and also in a short link and later we have determined the resultant loadings acting at cross section at point D. So this is all from this video. Thank you for watching this video.